Hello everybody, today I'm going to be discussing Iron Man 3. To be warned, there will be spoilers, and I'm going to talk about the biggest issue with this movie. Do I agree with this issue, or do I disagree? You'll find out in this review. In this Iron Man, Tony Stark is basically dealing with PTSD from the Avengers movie, and he still has to deal with not only the Mandarin, but also the virus. Now what does this virus exactly do? It may or may not blow up people. This virus is not explained well. It's not even really a virus, but it, they made it seem like it was. It's basically this guy invented this thing where if you put it in the, your blood system, it basically takes broken limbs that weren't there anymore and gives you a new limb, but makes you like 10 times stronger and can fight people like crazy good. Like that's all it does. It doesn't explain why. But then the other thing that he was going up against was the Mandarin. Here's where everybody is discussing the issue. The twist plot that happens is that we end up finding Iron Man, AKA Tony Stark coming up on Mandarin. The Mandarin is behind all of these bombings and threats. And basically he is put as a terrorist and the Mandarin wants the president to I don't he didn't even really say what he wants. Like he shot him and you're just like, why do you what does the Mandarin want exactly? He just hates America. That Tony Stark goes to look for the Mandarin. When he starts looking for the Mandarin, he has like five or six panic attacks in the movie, and then all of a sudden he finds the Mandarin, and we're like, oh, this is gonna be great. The Mandarin versus Iron Man versus awesomeness, and this is gonna be great! But what do we get? We get the Mandarin as a fake actor. Guy Pierce, who is the main villain in this movie, is filming the Mandarin to make him look like a terrorist, but Guy Pierce is the real enemy because the virus, or whatever you want to call it, is supposed to use be used for war. And you're supposed to be creating, I guess, super soldiers to take over America. Honestly, I don't understand it. When you find out that the Mandarin is fake, you're kind of let down. A lot. Here's the thing and here's the issue that's making everybody freak out. We were expecting the Mandarin with all of his ring powers and his Kung Fu and who he is as a villain to show up and take down Tony Stark. The trailer makes it seem like the Mandarin is taking down the whole world basically and all it is is a big TV hoax. Do I like it or do I not? As a comic book fan, I hate it. But at the same time, this movie did something that not a lot of movies do. They made you discuss the movie. They made you think whether you hated it or you liked it. They made you think that the Mandarin was going to be the main villain. Now a lot of you might say, well that's bull crap. But you were fooled just as much as Tony Stark was. I honestly think it's a unique and cool way of doing things. Don't get me wrong, as a comic book fan, I really was hoping to see the Mandarin in here, especially Ben Kingsley, out of anybody. A great and awesome actor. You know that he's great at and you're thinking, oh, the Mandarin, it's going to be the best portrayal of a villain ever. But in fact, he's not only playing one character, he actually plays two. And that's pretty interesting because it actually shows his acting chops. He's not a bad actor and he took his characters and he worked with them. The movie as a whole, I really enjoyed it. There was a lot of fun action in it. At the best, in my opinion, Iron Man movie. And I guarantee you that the only reason that you would hate this movie is because of the twist of the Mandarin. And then my other issue with this, Pepper, she basically saved Tony Stark's butt at the end, and in the end it leaves Pepper to become the hero for Tony Stark. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know if I like that. I kind of, like, this sounds awful, but I kind of wish just Pepper would have died. Tony Stark loved Pepper, and the faces that Robert Downey Jr. makes when he she falls, oh, you like, at, you're like, oh, I want her to die, but I don't, because she he really could feel for her, and he 
portrayed that beautifully. But her coming back was just like bogus to me. I felt like Tony Stark for the big finale should be the one that does something. And I understand that he built all those suits and that hobby that he had was building all those suits to take these guys down. That's cool. Mm, I don't know. Then my other issue with this movie is that they took Iron Man's life source basically out at the end. Why? They didn't have to do that. Again, this is just my comic book nerd coming out. Ah! But it's weird because at the same time, I really enjoyed this movie. It seems that I'm bickering a lot about it and I'm like, oh, it wasn't that good from what I say. But honestly, as a person that's just enjoying the movie for what it is, I loved it. It was fun. It was a good time. But if you're a comic book geek, like I am on this side of the fence, there's things you will be irritated about this movie, especially for fin the finale. So that's what I think about Iron Man 3. Do you agree? Do you disagree? What do you think about the spoilers? Did you like the Mandarin? Did you not like the Mandarin? Or did you think like I thought? If you're a comic book nerd, you're probably going to hate it. And if you're a moviegoer, you're probably going to love it. I'm a little bit of the both. So the Mandarin being a fake Mandarin didn't bother me as much as it should, and I'm okay with that. If you guys want to see more movie reviews with not just me, but with my buddy Josh, we do Netflix Critics where we review Netflix movies. I just wanted to do this real quick because I've seen Iron Man 3. I'm a huge superhero fan, book, movie guy, so that's why I had to review this. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Ooh, what you say? Ooh, that you only meant well, but of course you didn't.